Well, hello again folks, and I hope you're still all in good form, and counting the days down to Christmas. But, get ready for another video of me gabbing on far too much, and with very little action in it, or at least that's what some of the commenters seem to be saying. Anyway, for the rest of you who enjoy the show, welcome, and let's get into it hey. Oh, before anyone starts commenting why the swallows are still flying about, and the trees are green, this was filmed earlier in the year, about September time. I've already done a video at this particular cattle shed, but at that time I used a pop-up hide outside the shed. This time however, now that the barley has been cut, I found a nice wee cubby hole inside the shed among the straw bales. Which was great because it was absolutely lashing outside all day long. Anyhow, the rifle I have with me today is my John Bowcut blue printed BSA Super 10 in 22 calibre running at about 15 foot pounds of energy with 15.89 grain JSB Diablo XX. The scope is an Eco Sterling Target Master 4 to 16 by 44 with LRX radical, which I fitted a Tacticam 5.0 and FTS unit to the scope to film through, and I have a Virach silencer up front. Unfortunately though, my first shot of the day wasn't great, but thankfully I was able to get a hold of the jack doll before it disappeared into the pen and finish the job, even though it gave me a good couple of nips before I managed it. That one thankfully went a good deal better. This is going to be a close one, and even though the tractor looks to be in the road from the camera's point of view, the rifle was just clear of it. At this point the birds were starting to land in front of the pens where the feed was, where I couldn't get a shot at them, and the ones that were landing up on the rafters or the top of the gates weren't hanging around for long for some reason. Ah, nuts. Not quick enough. I don't know what happened there. I think I hit a little high and just took a few feathers off the top of his shoulder as the bird flew out quite strongly. But I thought I would check my point of aim for that range and it should be the line just above the main crosshair, which seemed to be bang on. Oh, another close range magpie.
But again, I'm not quick enough this time. Or he saw something he didn't like. But I did notice a couple of jackdaws feeding on the ground. Though the one I shot just walked behind that beam out of camera shot. Then I spotted the second one, a little further to the right, close to the corner of the other shed. The bird was quite close to one of the bars, but I thought I could sneak the pellet through. I thought wrong. Licking my wounds after that one, I decided to go out and lift the dead birds, as the sight of them probably will only put the incoming birds off from landing. Ah, we're starting to get a nice wee pile gathered up now. Nothing wrong with that shot. Wish they all dropped like that. Now just you sit there till I get their ack you bestie. I decided to go out and lift that last magpie I shot because the cattle have a bad habit of burying them in among the feed if you don't go out and lift them quick enough. Boy, that yard's wet. Oh, looks like we have another magpie up in the rafters this time. And another one, would you believe? And that's why I brought the Super 10, as my FAC crown would probably have blew a hole clean through that nice new tin. Ah, yuck. Them two birds were only in that pen for about 5-10 minutes and the cattle had them tramped into the clobber already. That's another magpie in the bag. I'm probably not the last one I'll shoot here, as there's a bit of forestry near hand this farm, so there's always plenty of magpies about. Ah, oh, don't tell me I missed again. Close shave, but no jackdaw. And I've dropped a couple of magpies off the same perch as clean as a whistle, so what am I doing wrong? Let's see if I can do a better job on this jack doll on the ground. You're in a bad way when you can neither shoot nor count. You can't miss this one, surely. Just sit your ground. Good, good. 
Fuck you, wee stinker, you. That one didn't stay long either for some reason. Come to see me? The magpies might be able to see me when they're up close, but when they're 30 yards out in the yard, that's a different story. I'd no sooner reloaded the gun when a second one turned up to see what was wrong with its mate. It just moved in behind that beam, out of camera shot, but I could still see it with the rifle. It got about five or six yards and dropped dead. What is it doing? Do you think it's looking to Thievy's wallet? Don't you just hate those bars? Here we go. Ah, oh, not the bars again. And, would you believe, a minute or so later, a third one appeared. That first magpie must have been very popular. What a wet scunner of a day. Definitely not one to be stuck at work, I'll tell you that. Oh man. That was a tight squeeze. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed that, and I didn't gab away too much. Unfortunately, the bales have been moved now, so I'm going to have to find a different place to hide. But until then, take care and look after yourselves, hey.